Hi. Father. <laughs> so, one, two. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this is gonna be another training vlog. I have private with William. I'm just gonna be taking you guys with me. I'll see you guys at the club. This is my coach, William. Hi. <laughs> he coaches me private. He's the head coach of OVA, if you guys didn't know. Today we're gonna work on footwork. Yes, some details about the footwork. Mm -hmm. Do you do you think this is a f hey guys, Tally here. I'm doing a little voiceover because I realized in this video I didn't really explain what we were doing. So I think this voiceover would help you guys understand what I'm doing and I can also explain the drills further. So when I have private lessons with William, we usually start off at the net. Usually I stand in one corner first and I net spin straight, net cross, lift cross, or lift straight just to practice accuracy and kind of just warm up. I just did the backhand and then I also do some forehand. And then we move on to some shots moving at the net. We're going to do a spin cross net, spin cross net first. So what William meant by spin cross net, spin cross net is very simple. All I do is spin straight and then cross net from that same corner and I follow that cross net cross and then I hit a straight one again and then I cross and then I just repeat this. Longer back, get this farther back. So you put your left foot longer back, you have more space, move up, and you get more powerfully push it back. I find normally in real game, you are too little. That's how you hard to change it during the end. This gave you momentum too. When you shuffle back like this, you can have more power up, and you get much farther, and you can easily turn other side. You really want to get a shuffle. This is another net drill. It's very simple. All I do is cross net every single shot and move left to right by order. This is for practicing the quality of my net cross shots. In this video, William is explaining how to do the swapping footwork at the front backhand side. Um, I don't really know how to explain this verbally, so just like watch what he's doing, I guess. Lunge is one, then swap is two, then shuffle, bring it a lunge. Yeah, go, split, split, bigger line, good. In this drill, William is practicing my defense, more specifically the front four corners, and increasing the frequency of my shuffles so I can more easily change direction. This is very helpful because I'm a tall person, and since I'm tall, a lot of people like attacking, so I need to learn how to keep my center of gravity low so it's easier for me to retrieve those shots and become more agile. So now William is simulating drop shots more specifically when my opponents dropped to my backhand side. He's emphasizing the fact that I have to turn my left foot toe to the corner I'm going to to make it easier for me to retrieve the shot. Yeah. Now I'm practicing my coverage of the front two corners more specifically after I make a backhand net spin shot straight. Usually after people make this shot, they shuffle back, but they continue to face that corner with their foot pointing to the backhand corner. William was telling me how this is dangerous because if my opponent net crosses to my forehand side, it's very difficult for me to get that shot. He is telling me to keep my footwork position more open when I shuffle back so I can cover both corners. Have to be straight. If you can do this, you can either even jump out or shuff out. Okay, but hard to go that side. But as soon as you go this way, then you shuff here three points in the line. By left, yeah, that's good one. That's good one. Then you say you will never miss your right side. Your shuffle have to place on more bouncing pad. You have to count one. Two. Yeah. So. One, two, three. 
one, two. It's both. Oh, one, two. Do this, one, two. Turn it the other way. One, two. One, two. Good. One, two. Like a two jump. One, two. One, two. Yeah. Oh. One, two. So this is easy to do that. Huh? This is basic defense position. In this drill, I'm still practicing my front four corners defense, specifically after I hit a straight lift from my front backhand corner. I had two main key points to keep in mind while doing this drill. The first being my recovery back to the middle after hitting a shot in the front backhand corner. I had to remember to do two shuffles as William showed previously. And the other point being when I go to the backhand corner, I have to remember to turn my left foot to that corner. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. That was part one of William's private lesson. Part two will be out next week, so come back to watch it. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this where I explain stuff further. See you guys next week. Bye!